Alrighty then, welcome back to another episode of Hatch to Devour, the free-to-play dino series. We're climbing up after the reset, it's going to be a good time. Not doing any intro, of course, so we'll jump right into it. I have uh, the list popping up there, but yeah, just redeemed one rare for the final fourth Marauding Raptor. Uh, that hand is not going to do it either. Oh, okay, beautiful, good stuff. Well... Gotta send two down, unfortunately, but at least we got the Raging Sword Tooth. Hopefully we get something um, a little cheaper than five, but could certainly make that work. Oh, I'm seeing white. We want that Rampaging Ferocidon, definitely. Huh. Hopefully they do nothing to Marauding. I mean, we don't have a play yet, but we certainly could next turn with uh, Commune. Dig for... Well, quite a bit, quite a bit. Oh, it's looking like maybe a basic beginner white deck. Let's get some good stuff. Oh, well, I saw life gain. I would like ranging just to get the ramp going, but I think rampaging is going to be a little bit more important in this matchup. Nice getting that for two, getting a little bit more damage. Huh. What are they going to do? Hey, that's okay. We're shutting them down. I think we got this hopefully in the bag. Uh, we'll just swing with the rampaging. They would just block marauding and might as well leave them up to block just in case. Chances are it won't do anything, but... If you don't need to swing with something and you can leave it up for a blocker, might as well. Oh boy, wow. That's not great, but we got Raging Sword Tooth next turn. That is pretty good. What does Minimus Containment do, actually? Okay. All right, no, we'll make that work, make that work. Hopefully go Rampaging Brontodon next turn and... As you guys probably like to see, a big dino at times bigger than Galta, so that's pretty nice. I don't expect they would have a board wipe if it is a beginner Celestia deck. Could be surprised though, you never know, they might have opened it up from a free pack, that sort of thing. Fast would surge, alright, so they're ramping to something big. Or they're just ramping. <sighs> so maybe it would have been better to go Ranging Raptors. We'd get a ping. We would have got another ping from Raging Sword Tooth. But we got that sixth land. I like to see it. You guys like to see it. Rampaging Brontaton. Getting her done. Not that we weren't going to get it done already. But anytime we get to play that big guy, it's a good day. Oh boy, they're at four. We're losing ground. It's not good. Not good at all. <laughs> okay, well, I guess that did it. Oh, I don't think there's a whole lot they can do. We just got a lot of good guys. We got the key thing to shut them down. I see they do have some answers, but I probably expect they don't have too many. We'll still certainly focus on getting a hand that has Rampaging Frostodon in game two, but hey, that's pretty nice. Alrighty, got the sideboarding popping up right there, but looks like they they may not have had a sideboard at all because they came through pretty instantaneously. So we'll keep that, definitely. We got Marauding Raptor, Ranging Raptors uh, for turn three. It's going to be pretty good. Get ahead nicely. 
pray they don't answer that marauding raptor because that's certainly going to slow us down but it's not the end of the world we got that third land so we still have basically a guaranteed turn three play huh. oh as i was hoping another marauding raptor so we'll go with the ranging for one we'll just get that uh two land ramp pretty fantastic thank you so much what's not to love about that Two basics, one green, and you're pumping up both Marauding Raptors. Unfortunately, we can't swing with the one. You know what? I don't see him removing... Nah, no, we should save. We should save Rampaging. Just so we can get the maximum benefit on later turns from both Marauding Raptors being able to swing. But the nice thing is with Raging Swordtooth... Why I've liked it in the past is because it does have five toughness. It survives uh, double Marauding Raptor. And it's going to be nice actually taking out that Woodland Mystic. Hmm. Hopefully they play a bunch of other small stuff. We'll get even more value from it. But just taking out the Mystic there, that's pretty decent. Three. Ping everything. Oh, Okay. That's unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. We do want one Marauding to dive, so we can play Ranging or Rampaging for Ossidon. Might kind of be nice with Thrashing, but I feel we should get another land if a Marauding is going to die. So we'll get that Raging Swordtooth down, get both of them buffed so they can kill that Story Seeker. I certainly expect it to block one of them. Hopefully. Okay, it does not. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I still think it's looking like a pretty good position, even if they swing with the Story Seeker. Or maybe they slap a bunch more stuff on it. Another Knight's Pledge, possibly. Oh, boy. Well, what are we going to do? It's not like we have another one in hand. That's okay. Doesn't have vigilance. So, they still die. Good stuff. That is dinos. You know, sometimes rampaging for Ossidon for one red effectively means four damage if it, you got two marauding raptors out. So, that's pretty good. We'll see you next time. Subscribe.